now that you all have realized what eye dominance you are or what eye you are going to shoot with, we are gone, now going to teach you to shoot with the hand that matches that eye. So if you are right eye dominant, you will be shooting right-handed. If you're left eye dominant, you will be shooting left-handed. And to help you with this, we are going to assemble something called a string bow. What I have is some paracord. Any nylon rope will work, but paracord is what I have. And what I'm going to ask you to do is you are going to cut yourself a piece out of the large coil that's going around the room with a pair of scissors. And to do this, all you need to do is stretch out a piece that is your wingspan. And once you have that, you are going to then take that and you're going to add to that length one more arm length. Okay, That's the easiest way for me to make sure you have a piece that's going to be long enough for you to use. So right now we're going to pass the cord around. Again, it's a full wingspan plus one arm length and cut it. Pass the spool and let your partner then cut the next piece for them. Perfect. Now that everyone has a string, here's what I need you to do. You're going to take the ends of your string and you're going to line them up. Once you have the ends lined up, you're going to turn it over and you'll have a looped side of the string. What we are going to do is you're going to use your dominant eye's hand. And for this example, I do shoot right-handed even though I'm left eye dominant. I wear a patch when I shoot and I shoot right-handed. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to continue to use my right hand. So on my hand, I've drawn a line and you will see that the line goes across the first crease or knuckle of my index finger. Then my middle finger goes across the fatty part of the tissue of my middle finger. And then the same first knuckle or crease in my ring finger. That is what we call the archer's groove. I'm going to take that archer's groove and I'm going to line my cord, right that center of that loop, right onto the archer's groove. And I'm just going to let it hang there. Okay. Once it's hanging on my fingers, all three fingers, I'm going to take my thumb and my pinky and I'm just going to bend them in to the palm of my hand. And the string again just hangs there. So my hand looks like this. With my other hand, I'm going to grasp both loose ends between the thumb and the index finger. I'm then going to close my fist around the string. Okay? I am now going to stand with my feet shoulder width apart. And if I am right handed, my feet will be pointing toward the windows in the classroom. And if I'm left-handed, my feet will be pointing toward the cabinets in my classroom. When I, since I'm going to be shooting right-handed, I'm going to stay this way, facing you, so you can see what I'm doing. My feet are shoulder-width apart. I'm going to take my bow hand, the hand that is wrapped around the string, and I'm going to just hold it out in front of me. The left hand, that has the arches groove that's hooked into the loop, it will just stay six to seven inches from that left hand and go along for a ride. So my left arm will go straight out like I'm holding a bow in my hand and my arches groove on the loop or the string will just go for a ride. Okay, when it's here, I'm going to pull the string through the fist of my hand, point it through the fist of my hand and I'm going to stop pulling when my index finger gets to the corner of my mouth. So let me show you that one more time. The string, two ends, are put together. I go to the opposite end now and find the loop in the string. When I have the loop in the string, I take the three fingers, stick them in the loop, line it up on my archer's groove, take my other hand, go over the two dangling pieces between my thumb and my index finger and make a fist. I then turn and relax. My left arm will go straight out like I'm holding a bow. The three fingers that are hooked will pull the loose ends through my fist and I will continue to pull until my finger touches the corner of my mouth. When my finger touches the corner of my mouth, I can let the string loop come out of my archer's groove and let it just drop. 
I will grab right where the string goes into my fist, and I will tie a knot in that location with the loose ends. Now, I've created a large loop. And if it's the right length, I should now be able to take my thumb, stick it inside that loop down by the knot, take the knot, hold it in my fist, and let the string dangle. Take my archer's groove, also put it in the large loop, and it should be taut like so. When I have that, I can now relax both hands together and make sure it's the right length. My bow arm will go straight out. I will pull back. My finger will be in the corner of the mouth. It is nice and tight and taut. It is the right length. I will come around to make sure your elbow is up. It's not out in front. If it's out in front, your draw length may not be long enough. I may have to move your knot. And if your elbow is way back past your head, it may be too long and I may have to move the knot again. I want it nice and straight. This elbow should be two to three inches ahead of that line of the string. Okay, so he should look just like this. Once we get this, I can make another knot down the string about the width of my hand, a little bigger maybe, tie another knot there, and basically now I've created what we call a sling, and I can put my the whole loop right through this, put my hand in between these two knots, slide my hand through there, take this top string, and loop it over my thumb. Now I can still come to full draw. When I pull through the shot, eventually when I go over the 11 steps, it will just hang off my wrist. When I'm done, I can take that top loop, put it over my thumb, go back to a relaxed position, go to the pre-draw, draw again, anchor to my cheek, pull through the shot nice and tight, it'll just hang from my wrist if you put the second knot on there. This is a string bow. I'll come in around the classroom to make sure you do it properly. I'll help you to make sure the alignment's good. If it's too long, I will shorten this knot. If it's too short, I will lengthen this knot. If it's just right, I will instruct you to put in your second knot for the sling. You may begin.